Drilling oil and the gas wells requires rig. Each drilling rig consists of a group of systems that help complete drilling process. If you want to know these systems, stay around and let's jump into rig component and get going. I'm Hamad Shura and I'm here to help. <laughs> Welcome back to English version of Basic Mod School with Muhammad Shura. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on notifications now. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the school. So let's get started. Today I just want to, to walk you through the basics of drilling rig components. There are many individual pieces of equipment on rotary drilling rig. These individual pieces of equipment can however be grouped together into six subsystems. These systems are power system, drill string, hosting system, rotating system, circulating system, and finally well control system. Although these pieces of equipment associated with these systems will vary in design, these systems will be found on all drilling rigs. The equipment discussed in this video will be found in both onshore and offshore drilling rigs. So let's jump in through the systems. The first system is power system. They must therefore have a method of generating the electrical power which is used to operate the systems I mentioned before. The electrical power generators are driven by diesel powered internal combustion engines or prime movers. The rig may have, depending on its size and the capacity, up to four prime movers delivering more than 3,000 horsepower. Horsepower is an old but still widely used unit of power in the drilling industry. As we talked in the first video, which will now appear in suggested videos, about the main principle of drilling, which is apply weight with rotation, then we will need two systems, namely drill string and rotary system so the second system is drill string the term drill string is used to describe the tubular and the accessories on which the drill bit is run to the bottom of the hole the drill collar and the other equipment which is made up just above the bit are collectively called the bottom hole assembly or pha or bha the functions of the drill string are lower the bit into the, into the hole Place weight on the bed so it can penetrate the formations effectively. Also used to transmit uh, rotation action to the bed from the rotary table or from top drive. Also we use drill string to conduct the mud under pressure from the surface to the bed. Okay, let's suppose this is the well and this is the drill string. The drill string is consists of drill collar, drill pipe, and the Kelly drill pipe, drill collar, and the Kelly, and the various uh, other and the various other pieces of equipment such as a stabilizer and dreamer, which are in including included in the drill string just above the drill bit. All of these components will be described in details in drilling manuals, and I will leave you links for it on description on description box. After we reach TD or target depth, we should pull out of hole. Also, we pull out of hole in several cases like change pit, short trip, wiper trip, and etc. So we need a system for that, which is called hosting system. Hosting system is used to rise and lower the drill string and casing into and out of the well. The components parts of hosting system, drew work or drum, crown block, traveling block, drilling line, hook, and elevator. Now we are going to watch a video that make us feel like we are on the rig. So let's see hosting system. Used to run and pull drilling equipment into and out of the well. The main components of the hoisting system are the drawworks, crown and traveling block, hook and elevators. The drawworks includes a large revolving drum spooled with wire rope called the drilling line. The drilling line is threaded or reeved over a set of shivs in the top of the derrick, known as the crown block. The drilling line then passes down to another set of shivs, known as the traveling block. A large hook hanging from the traveling block suspends the drill string in the well. The elevators, a set of clamps attached to the hook, 
are used when running or pulling drill string or casing. Back again to the main principle of drilling, apply weight with rotation. We already applied the first condition, which is apply weight, so now we need to apply the second condition, rotation, so we need rotary system. Rotary system is used to rotate the drill string and therefore the drill bit on the bottom of the bore hole. The rotary system also includes all the equipment used to achieve bit rotation, like swivel, kelly, kelly bushing, master bushing, and rotary table. The swivel is positioned at the top of the drill string. It has three functions. Supports the weight of the drill string, permits the string to rotate, allow mud to be bumped while the, the string is rotating. Below the swivel, we find the kelly. It's the first section of pipe. It's normally about 40 feet long and has an outer hexagonal cross section. It must have this hexagonal or some or sometimes square shape to transmit rotation from the rotary table to the drill string. The rotary table is located on the drill floor or rig floor and it can be turned in both clockwise and anti-clockwise directions. So now we are going to watch a video that make us feel like we are on the rig. Let's see rotary system. The borehole. The main components are the Kelly the rotary table and swivel. The Kelly is a 40-foot long pipe with an outer hexagonal cross section that connects to the top of the drill pipe. When drilling, the Kelly passes through the Kelly bushing. The Kelly bushing has four pins which slot into four post holes in the rotary table on the drill floor. The rotary table turns to rotate the Kelly bushing thus rotating the Kelly and drill string. The rotary table the rotary table is controlled from the driller's console and can turn in both clockwise and counterclockwise directions. The swivel is found at the top of the Kelly and supports the entire drill string weight. The swivel also allows mud to be pumped down the drill string while the string is rotating. Circulating system Circulating system is used to circulate drilling fluids down through the drill string and up the annulus, carrying the drilling cutting from the face of the bed to the surface. The main components of the, the circulating system, mud bit or mud tanks, mud bump, bump manifold, stand pipe, swivel, drill string, annulus, return line or flow line, and then solid control equipment like shell shaker, descender, desilter, and degasser them back again to mud bit. Now we are going to watch a video that make us feel like we are on the rig to see circulating system. Circulating system is used to circulate drilling fluid called mud down the drill string and up the annulus. The mud carries the drilled rock cuttings from the face of the drill bit to the surface. The mud is constantly recirculated but only after the rock cuttings are removed at the surface. Four major components make up this solids removal equipment. Shale shakers, desanders, desilters, and centrifuges. Mud first passes over the shale shakers, which remove the largest rock cuttings. Desanders, desilters, and centrifuges remove increasingly smaller rock particles. Any gas brought up by the mud must also be removed by passing the mud through a degasser. The cleaned mud is then ready for recirculating. Mud tanks, sometimes called mud pits, are a series of large interconnected steel tanks. Some mud tanks are used for circulating mud while others are used for storing fresh mud. Clean mud is picked up from the appropriate mud tanks by positive displacement plunger pumps. These powerful pumps increase the mud pressure to thousands of pounds per square inch 
providing the energy to circulate the mud. High pressure lines carry the mud from the pumps to the rig floor where it passes through the standpipe, the flexible rotary hose, the swivel, the swivel, and the hollow kelly. The mud continues back down the drill pipe. Also this animation I think it's helped to, to understand more about the circulating system. As we see we started from mud tanks to mud bombs, stands by, rotary hose, swivel, kelly, kelly, kelly drill string, bit, annulus and the same back again to the turn line or flu line go to shield shaker, descender, desilter and get back to mud tanks. The final system is well is well controlled system. The function of well controlled system is to prevent the uncontrolled flow of formation flows from the well bore. The rig equipment responsible for preventing uh, the build up of unwanted formation fluids that lead to blow out. When the drill bit enters a permeable formation, the pressure in the pore space of the, uh, the formation may be greater than the hydrostatic pressure ex extracted by the mud column. If this is so, formation fluid will enter the well bore and start displacing mud from the hole, and the kick may be occur like this. Also, the well control system is designed to detect cook, close in the well at the surface, remove the formation fluid which has flowed, flowed into the well, make the well safe. Failure to do this results in the uncontrolled flow of fluids known as blue out, which may cause loss of lives and equipment, damage to the environment, and loss of oil and the gas reserves. To finish a well, there are some break process should be done. First, three drilling, trimming, casing and cementing, wire line logging, and well, and finally well completion. And uh, we will discuss all of this in next videos. With this we have finished the basics of rig components and in the next video we will get to know engineering calculations that will help you to analysis all data on the rig. I wish you all the best and thank you for your kind attention. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.